Hey everyone, I've wanted to do this video for a while. It's a doozy and part of it is potato quality, so stick with it, be patient, because the payoff is kind of an important lesson. On June 24, 2007, the following play happened in the Cubs-White Sox game. Joe West's crew had a discussion afterward, made a call, and well, we'll start with the White Sox broadcast with Hawk Harrelson. The source video here is pretty poor quality, so we'll go with the Cubs video with the Sox audio for the initial play and then we'll switch over to Sox video and audio for replays and broadcaster discussion. Thanks, so make him get a man in scoring position. That ball hit hard and right. That's going to be over the head of McCovey. Well, no punt. And now, they got, a, they got a problem here. The Cubs on the base pass. Paulie's going to have to run them back. They put it on him. Now they got the man in the pickle. Come to the plate. They got him in a pickle. So P.A. now is going to be tagged out by Josh Fields, and now we'll do a double play. Mercy! So that is the White Sox perspective, so now that we've seen it, let's listen to what Hawk says after the play in their analysis. There's going to be a bit of a discussion as to what's going on out at second base. That bad base running started all that up, first and foremost. By the way, there's going to be two outs as Makoviak gets it back in in a hurry. You see DeRosa heading into second, just following that that lead, that runner in front of him. Right there, it, Pagan is called out. Well, I think what they could be discussing, Ozzy doesn't know it, I don't either. But what they could be is the fact DeRosa if he tags second, did he tag it coming back? Well, this is just going to be academic right here. The DeRosa will. Now, Pagan is going back out to second base. Well, if they put it on Pagan at second as he was sliding in, and indeed, DeRosa hit second base and did not tag it going back. That's a triple play. Well, they put the tag on Pagan, and he was out at second base. So They that called him out. Yeah, so that opens it up to DeRosa to go stand on second, and that's what he did. And then they ran, had the run down, and got the runner at home. I mean, it's not that confusing to me. Well, and if he went back to first, it still opens up the base. You're right, at second base. Takes the... That's, that's what they're trying to get straight among themselves right now. So right here, Pauly, he's going to get this throw and get the out here. Okay, now that Pagan is out, second base is DeRosa's. He can go to it, no problem. Yeah, that, that that's, took the force off. Now it's all a rundown, and you get PA, and that's that. That's all there is to it, the end of the play. DeRosa has second. Pagan was already called out immediately. So he is just a gone goose, as is P.A., and DeRosa standing on second. And they're both standing on second. Well, I don't know if he's trying to just confuse the issues, but the call was made immediately by Rapuano out at second that Pagan was out. He's so got both know, of them standing there. Yeah, I don't know why he's even on the field. He was called out, and I don't know what they're discussing. Let A.J. get in there and straighten him out. Well, it really is a straightforward play. I mean, we have the... Well, there's got to be more to it than what we're talking about because they wouldn't be having this long of a discussion. Well, we have... We see it all. We see the whole field. These umpires are looking at individual things going on in front of them. They're very close to the play, so it's easy for us to... I think what Joe West is trying to do is get the dynamics of what happened in sequence. And to get them to agree to it. That's a triple play, I think he's going to call it. No, he's telling, no, he's not. He's telling PA to head back to third for some crazy reason. Oh, this makes what no is sense. this now? This makes no sense whatsoever. It's a very straightforward double rundown. 
There was a call out at second. PA tried on his own to score. They got him in a rundown and tagged him out. That's that. There's not a whole lot of confusion to it. I would love to hear what their debate and argument is over what took place. It. As we heard, the Sox booth is confident they see it all. The umpires are too close to the action to see everything sometimes, and it's a straightforward play, so what in the world could they possibly be doing? Well, the only thing that could be taking place in my mind, Hawk, is that somewhere on that play, something got lost in translation. They missed something. They didn't see what took place when it came to PA. Well, if, I don't, I don't know if he gets in a rundown, he gets tags out, his behind is out. That's it's all just that simple. simple. That's what I mean. I don't know where they could have gotten confused on what took place. Pagan was tagged out, trying to get back to his base, which was second. Once he was tagged out, that left it open for DeRosa to get into second. They just turned and fired to home, and PA was trying to score. So I don't see where the difficulty is here. It was a clean base hit to right field. There's no tag ups or anything like that. Like I said from the get go, it was just a pretty straightforward play. I don't know where all the confusion is coming from. All I know is if it stands the way they have it now, that's got to be wrong. Just going to do a quick fast forward. Well, if this, if they, if they allow PA to go back to third base, I've never seen this at all in all my years in baseball, to where you get two guys in a pickle, then you get a guy going back into second base, you tag him out, he is called out, the guy from third tries to score, you get him in the pickle, tag him out, and now they go let him go back to third. That's BS. Well, if there's ever been an argument for instant replay, you're seeing it right now because apparently. These umpires trying to watch everything that was taking place. Somebody took their eye off of their job, off of their responsibility. Now Joe West is going to throw Ozzy. Oh, out. what is he doing? Get out, get your money's worth, Ozzy. That's BS. I don't know. All I know is that what we saw. And we've looked at the replay enough times to know exactly what took place. Ball hit over the right fielder's head. He gets it back in. There's a run down. Man nailed it second. Another run down. Man nailed towards home. That's it. Again, we don't know what they're discussing that makes it so complicated. Well, what you've got right now is you've got all three runners standing on a bag. you got DeRosa at first. You've got Pagan at second. You've got P at third. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Never seen anything like that in my whole career. As a player coming up from Little League to D ball to C ball to A ball to Triple A to the big leagues, never seen that. Where you still got three guys on the bases and they already been called to them. All right, let's watch the Cubs and see how long it takes them to figure it out. 19 and 19 on the road. Hit well to right. Makowiak's going to have to go over his head. One hops a fence. P.A. had to wait. There's a collision at second base as Pagan and Uribe ran into one another. What's going on now? You have two runners there. The throw gets Pagan. And now they have DeRosa caught up. P.A. between home and third. Fields tagged him. I have to believe Lou Pinella is going to come out. Angel Pagan ran right in to Juan Uribe at second base. Mass confusion on the bases right now. So the umpires are going to get together. Well, I'm not sure what the continuation rule is, but there's no doubt that Juan Uribe obstructed Angel Pagan as he came around second base out there. It was definitely contact. Second base umpire Ed Rapuano immediately pointed to it. He saw the play. PA went back to tag initially. Pagan got a great jump, and right there was the contact. And now from that point on, uh, cue the circus music. 
Hey, just a plethora of uh, base running mistakes. We'll see how this all shakes out here. Eventually, PA is tagged out at home plate by Josh Fields, the third baseman. Now, Bob, you know, the collision occurred, but PA was not trying to score anyway, so even if Pagan had not run into a rebay, I wonder if we still would have had a traffic jam out there on the bases. All right, so during the very initial play call, the broadcasters recognized that there was a collision at second base between the runner and the fielder, and then after the play, properly called it obstruction. Given that, I thought it was very important to show the White Sox broadcast unedited because even when showing replays, at no point did the Sox broadcast mention a collision, much less obstruction. I have a headache already just thinking about this play. So many different things. Meanwhile, the Cubs saw it immediately. Fundamentally, Mark DeRosa, when he sees that Pagan is caught between second and third. He needs to go stand on second base. You want to make sure you have runners at second and third when this play is over. Now DeRose is at second base. PA is at third base and Pagan is caught in between. DeRose should have stayed at second at that point. You lose a base runner but you still have two men in scoring position. And you could clearly see Mike Quaddy holding PA at third base and you're right. After Pagan ran into a rebay his initial action was to keep on heading toward third. As for the rule itself, play not being made on obstructed runners, type two, so keep play alive until nothing so further can happen. Then go back and put in penalties to nullify the there act. Here the crew no said that due to the collision, the obstructed out. runner was disoriented or couldn't pick up the base coach or the runner standing on third until it was too late. Since that's what led to the double play, the crew nullified the obstruction by placing the runner or awarding the runner second base and then loading the bases with none out. Crew. C.B. Buckner, the home plate umpire involved, as is Ed Hitcox. We're going to call for a mulligan. Let's have a do-over. In conclusion, the purpose of this video is to show how sometimes even a TV broadcast with all of its replays and cameras can miss the crucial element of an entire play, and how sometimes the analysis of the broadcast to the public is therefore inaccurate or misleading. And I suppose that's why we're here. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports, and we'll see you on the site. There's no way there are going to be two outs. Now, PA went back to tag. He's going to advance to third base easily. Well, you can see the third base umpire was pointing at the obstruction at second base as well. Angel Pagan had his hands up. He knows there was uh, obstruction out there by Uribe. So that's it. So Ozzy just got ejected.